It's Friday night, people, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for Big Night In, and tonight we are making Thai roast chicken. Not only succulent chicken, but also a vegetable curry in coconut milk and a fiery papaya salad. I know the food's usually quite good, but this is fantastic. This is going to take some beating. I think this is the centrepiece. Oh, come on. Ooh, come on. Look, look at that. that. Carving knife. Uh, it's carving fork. Carving knife there. No, fork. Oh, oh, we were playing darts. We were playing darts. Oh. <laughs> we got a bullseye, Ben. Yeah. Seriously? That is impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. This breast looks so juicy. Do you know what? The skin is going to be awesome because we have rubbed it in butter and our very own Thai paste. For your chicken, grab your chicken and bring it up to room temperature. Once it's there, cut the sinew off, cover it in butter and some Thai paste, then chop your lines up and stick them inside. Now, if you're going to the effort of inviting all your friends around and doing this whole thing, you can cheat and just buy Thai red curry paste. Mm -hmm. Or, like this one, you can make your own. And if you want the recipe, we'll put a link to it down below. We made it for our monkfish skewers on Big Night In a little while back. Now you've got the wrong end. Oh, no. How much stick did I get for that a few I know, years sorry. back? sorry. <laughs> Now the best roast chicken in my eyes needs to sit on top of a rack over a pan of water. That will help to steam it. It will catch all the lovely buttery, chilli juices that drop without burning and it goes into a preheated oven, 220 degrees Celsius, for one hour in total. I rarely eat chicken breast or white chicken meat that is that succulent. If I had to describe the smell of this curry with one word, it would be fragrant. There are so many layers of flavour in this. Do I sense some coconut milk somewhere? It's a really easy, like, one tray thing. For all of our veg, all you need to do is chop them up into sort of thumb-sized pieces. A couple of sweet potatoes, a couple of red onions, we're just going to quarter. Baby aubergines, these are really awesome. Take off the tops and leave them pretty much whole. Then a couple of red chilies, cloves of garlic, some ginger, and bruise a stick of lemongrass. They're all going to go into a baking tray underneath our chicken after it's had half an hour head start in the oven. What's with the forking? Um, well, it's probably just being extra safe, but I'm concerned about the tight skin. They might explode in the oven, so just give them a little prick and it's job done. They might explode? Well, you know, go... Oh, and one other thing, a little bit of extra water in the bottom of the baking tray just stops anything from burning. And then when you take the chicken out of the oven to rest, which is also key to making it really succulent, you finish it off with a tin of coconut milk, soy sauce, fish sauce, back in. It's already got all the ginger and lemongrass and garlic in there. It makes its own curry in the tray. Now that curry is quite spicy, but luckily you've got the, um, the salad there to cool you down. Okay. So traditionally it would be a green papaya. This one's a little bit more ripe than the traditional one, but this kind of idea and making the dressing just out of lime juice and sugar and chilli came from Sorted Food. It was, there were already two recipes uploaded, which are the best of both, and that's what we've ended up doing. Nice. A Thai papaya salad, also known as a sum tum. It's very simple. Basically, you chop up lots of things into a fine julienne and toss it in a big bowl with lime juice and sugar. It's really, really spicy, but we also have the saltiness from salted peanuts. Ah, oh, that is spicy. It is so <laughs> it good. Got that is warm. That is so good. Boys, this was absolutely killer. Thank you very, very much. You are welcome. If you've enjoyed this Friday's Big Night In, then make sure you click the like button down below. And if you want to get ahead with next Friday's Big Night In, then why don't you head over to saltedfood.com where all the recipes and the ingredients and the step-by-step -step instructions are there. You can cook along with us and we'll have a big night in together. You know what we should do though, before we go? Let's have a question. Let's have Who's a question. Got I've got a question. So Florian wants to know, have we ever regretted starting Sorted Food? And if so, why? And if we haven't regretted starting it, what would make us? I hate it. <laughs> I was going to say, that was going to be my next point, is how can you regret? I hate it. I have around to work table. with my friends, I have to eat all this food, <laughs> I get to film stuff, we get to do whatever we like. And wash it down with beer. We get to drink beer. All right, so we don't regret starting it, mm -hmm. but the second part of the question was, what would have to happen to make us regret starting it? Like, for me, personally, what? If, <laughs> just imagine, but if, Sorted ever came between like the friendship group because obviously there's us there's a whole other group of mates as well that are there at the beginning like if it ever became between us lot because like you are my oldest group of friends 
then that would make me cry deep down inside. So basically what you're saying is, Sorted should never get a dog. Oh, yeah. I'll never. be taking him home. I'd want a, really like a snickerdoodle. No, not a, like a, a snickerdoodle. <laughs>